I was just sitting here and obviously you can tell I'm in my basement um, in my office and we just received confirmation that the home inspection for the house was good um, and they also waived like their house insurance condition that they had and that they need two more days um, extension for their financing which is all fine um, and the chances of our house being sold is probably like 98% <laughs> Um, which I mean obviously I'm like amazingly happy that it's all went smoothly um, we couldn't have asked for a better sale it worked out even better than what we could have imagined I know I sound upset in all this but I'm very happy about it um, I was just kind of sitting here and I was about to go to bed <laughs> until I just I came downstairs to check on something and I just wanted to kind of let you know how I was feeling I am a type of person that takes risks ba based on calculation um, and not emotional um, I don't base things on emotional risks it's all about calculated risk for me and making sure I figure out every last detail before I make a decision. I've kind of always been that way. Uh, I think my mom instilled that into me. I think my dad instilled that into me. And that's just part of who I am. But I just kind of didn't realize it um, that as much as I can calculate something you don't realize how emotionally attached you are to something until it actually happens <laughs> um, and now knowing that we might have to be out of here in a month is really scary just because we don't have an exact plan in place we know what we want to achieve and how to get there but because we don't have a piece of property lined up, there is obviously the unknown. Not knowing that, who knows, it might take two years, might take a year, might take six months. But it's scary to think that we have this perfectly beautiful home that we've made our own and we'll be leaving it for the unknown but also in hopes to make something better having the opportunity to build our dream home none of this could be possible obviously without our parents especially my dad because he is the brains of it all he knows everything that we need to do to build a home and just for our parents allowing us to do these crazy ideas and make these crazy ideas and even listening to all this crazy stuff because I know when I first start talking about crazy ideas they seem like dreams that may never come true but I'm here to say that if you can think about it enough and make calculated risks and work for what you want you can make it happen. You can make your dreams come true. And we don't know when that will come true. Um, like I said, it might be a year from now. It might be two years from now. We don't know. But we're willing to take the risk and try for something better. And as much as we love this house and it was our first home, we know there's better out there for us. Um, to make our lives that much better so this was more for me I was just down here thinking as much as I've never liked my basement 
I was looking around and I don't want to forget even though it's not perfect it was perfect it was perfect at a point in time in our lives and when we found this house I remember thinking there's no way we could afford this and now I think someone else will be able to appreciate it just as much as we have even though it's given us some troubles along the way I just don't want to forget the good and the bad because this house is a big part of us this is where we became a family Kyle and I didn't live together before this house and no we didn't have Michaela in this house but we had Damien we got two cats and a dog in this house we learned so much in this house. We became pretty much adults in this house, as much as we had to become adults with Michaela at such a young age. This has truly made us become responsible parents and showed us what we want in life and what it takes to achieve what we want in life. So yeah, anyways, I guess I'll just kind of uh, show you what our basement looks like because I think in the five years that we've been here and that I've been doing YouTube I haven't showed you guys <laughs> And that's because it's not perfect. It's not finished completely, but I want to remember it. So I'll just show you So this is like my little office area down here and let me just mention that this room is usually a storage room and never looks like this. Um, it's never been this clean in the five years probably that we've been here. Um, but so this is like my little office space and out to here is the garage and then that's our driveway out to there. Um, and then you pan over and there's a bed and that's just a closet in there with the electrical panel. And down here, just across from the desk is a little um once again storage so we keep a lot of stuff in there a lot of baby stuff that we haven't used and then there's this part here this door here once again is storage and a lot of baby stuff um which i have already actually gone through to see if there's anything i could get rid of um before we end up storing stuff and as you can see, this old, old beam here, um, this was actually original to the house. Um, I think this house was originally built in the 60s, maybe? Um, so this room was basically just the original part of the house. Um, and then they added on, so that's just some extra chairs, but, so this is the finished part of the basement they just have tile down and yeah so then when you look out <laughs> um and once again like I said it's not perfect but it still was ours um concrete floor and this is just a big open space obviously toys uh wood stove and stuff so this is um the big part and we did have some really big plans for down here uh, we wanted to finish it and make it like a playroom slash like man cave as you can see but we honestly didn't plan on selling in five years um but things change and people change and we never got around to it so um there's basically brick wall everywhere um insulation and i mean it's a basement um with some pump over there and more storage <laughs> and then you turn around to this part and that where that's where it goes upstairs but again storage um and that's pretty much all we've used this basement for as you can see the ceiling's not finished there's plumbing and um yeah, so it's not perfect. Um, we hang our laundry here because nothing dries your clothes faster than a wood stove. <laughs> but anyways, that's our basement. So I just wanted to 
remember this. So now that it is 11.34 at night, um, I should probably go to bed and get some sleep. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to kind of remember how I was feeling in this moment and um, not to depreciate the value of this house to us because I know there was point in times where, but I felt like this house wasn't fit for us anymore and that's where it comes in is that like I base all my emotions off of calculated risk and at the time when I was calculating those risks I knew it was the right thing for us to sell. Anyways, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore other than I didn't want to make it seem like we didn't care about this house because we do, as much as we can hate this house at sometimes, we still love it. It was still our first home. We grew our family in it. We became a family in it and we still love it uh, with all its kinks and everything so anyways uh i hope you're all doing well and i'll see you in my next video bye guys